spotting we usually do, which we're always spotting because that was much fun, uh, that set the three children dancing together was a complete surprise to my wife and I. So uh, they came out with Tina and then all of his sisters, and we were like, oh, this is the debut. So this is the world debut of that particular choreography. <laughs> I think it was about 12 years ago when our youngest, Aiden, was still on Mama's lap. And I remember at the time thinking, wow, 55, that's a long way off. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting close, so uh, <laughs> starting to fit in more and more. So it's great to be here again, and thanks for having us again for this presentation.
we did on the finals of America's Got Talent, I guess it's been about seven years now, when we were on season one of America's Got Talent and made it to the top five of the finals. So, I want to thank Blue so, so, so very much for having us back here. Yeah, so a big round of applause.
we were thinking that was sort of our last, because the kids really were raised doing this from the time they were very little. And they were in college, and then I got a call from someone from America's Got Talent, and we don't even have a television. The person said, this is Sharon Nash from Simon Cowell's America's Got Talent. Would you like to be, a, we would like you to be in our first season. And I said, what? Who? America's Got Talent? What? I had no idea what he was, she was talking about. And she said, we're filming the first ad for it about two weeks later. And it happened, it was right, it was the day before Elizabeth's final exams began. We did the ad for them down at the Glendale Theater. She did her exams, and they started filming about two or three days after her exams. We had no idea what we were getting into. And we had so much fun. We spent the whole summer, we do, I think they'd have you down for about a week, then you go home, and then if you got called back, you'd be down there for another, I don't know, 11 days. I mean, we pretty much spent a good portion Studios. of that summer down in Paramount Studios. And at one point, we're up in Canada, we go to music camps and perform around. We're up in Canada, and we didn't know. Well, they told us, they said, you know, give us references, we need to call all your friends. Our friends don't watch TV. They had no idea. <laughs> they called my sister, who was the contact number, saying, "We can't. Your friends won't. You know, the Woods friends won't even answer for them." And she said, "You know what? They're fine. They're a good family. I mean, they do this background check, crazy background check, and we don't have anything bad in our background, so they could finally." <laughs> so we went down to the finals, and we're just so delighted to make it to you know the top. We, they didn't really tell us. We, we were actually, we think we were probably second. And we said at the end, we said, well, what were we? And they said, you just say you're in the top five. But it didn't matter to us. We had so Aww, much fun. No. We had a great summer. That's the short Irish answer to that. <laughs>